Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How Merry are Christmas, you, everybody. <laughs> ho ho ho. Yeah. <laughs> it's way too early to be talking about Christmas, but um, you know, it's retail. <laughs> it is. Christmas is, you know, happening in July, Definitely. August, September, and certainly October. So we had a few people who responded to join us, um, but we might just kick off. And um, if you aren't here for the live. And you can catch the replay. <laughs> yeah. So thanks so much for joining us. Um, I guess we probably want to start with and something you may or may not know this about us is that we both come from a strong retail background. So we worked together for Optus for many, many years um, in the retail division. So Christmas was in big. our <laughs> corporate space was big. And to be honest, we started planning for it probably back in July in some ways, yeah. um, particularly around the marketing side. The beauty of what we get to do with you guys is work with small business. So you're a lot more nimble, a lot more agile, um, agile and a lot easier to deal with when you want to make changes within your business. You so three month lead times for product and things like that. That's so. right. So um, we, it reminds us all the time, um, we had a manager, Dazzling, um, and yeah, we really worked with him. Like we loved him dearly. Like, don't get me wrong, but come Christmas Eve, he had a speech that he'd give us every year. And when you work with someone for about twelve years, the speech becomes kind of a joke. But he used to talk about, you know, we'd get to Christmas Eve, we'd finished with all of our store visits by lunchtime, and he'd say, "Now's the time to put your feet up and recognize all the hard work that you've done and everything you've done to get." you know, the results that you're going to achieve. Or there's nothing more you can do. There's nothing more you can do. <laughs> and as much as you make a joke, it's probably kind of true in that, you know, if you can start planning for it now and get yourself organised, you know that we love a list, you know that we love action plans and we really want to try and deliver to you guys some ideas so that you can implement them and have something to be accountable to. Um, but, you know, you'll know at the end of um, December that you've, you know, tackled Christmas with as much rigour as you possibly could. So. Yeah. And that's what we're here to help you with today. So yes. without further ado, there's three main areas um, we're going to focus on today. Um, probably not the time of year that you want to make a massive pivot in your business mm -hmm. or undertake, you know, any big projects. Um, look, that can happen. But from our perspective, the, you know, in e-commerce and in the retail space, the three main areas that you probably want to think about is your product and your fulfillment and how you're going to get that out to the customer. Your marketing and office, so how are you going to promote it and make you know speak about it, and then finally the customer service. You don't want to yeah. let that drop, and that can happen when you know like you're increasing your sales as well. Yeah. So we're going to sort of break it down month by month, or the period from now mid October through to December, um, and give you guys some tips. And then if you do stay to the end, we do have a special that we're going to. A um, couple of things for you. Offer you all yes. as well. So Jack's going to kick off. I'm going to kick off. So we're going to talk about October, November. So now through to November and what we would recommend that you start with. So I've got some notes here. So um, unfortunately I can't memorise everything. <laughs> so a great place to start is to set some targets. So perhaps review what you did numbers wise last year and maybe also take a look at and remind yourself what worked and what didn't work last year in terms of not only your numbers but the products that you ranged. And um, then go ahead and set some targets of what you would actually like to achieve in this Christmas sales period. Um, what would also be prudent to take a look at um, while you're reviewing your numbers is actually look at your margins and look at what margins you were able to achieve last year, given that you may have discounted or bundled and also offered things like free shipping. So go ahead and assess your margins from last year and what margin you would like to achieve for this year so that you've got a bit of a goal around not only the total sales number, revenue number but also the margins and don't forget to take into account things like um, PayPal, Afterpay, Shopify fees and things like that because mm -hmm. that obviously eats into your margins as well. Then we would recommend you start to seriously think about product and pricing. So what are you going to range? What are you hoping to be those top sellers? Um, forecasting for the stock, so making sure whatever it is you've decided that you've, you're going to range, um, you were actually able to secure stock for those things. And then it would be really great to have a think about product bundles. So what can you bundle within your own product range to really increase that cart size, considering um, any old stock that you might be sitting on. So you might be able to put to get to take a bit of a hit on some old stock that you've got that you can bundle with some you know top sellers to really move that through and free up that cash. And also take a think, uh, take a think about, <laughs> think have about, a think. <laughs> have a think about gift, things like gift with purchase. So if you're going to just, you know, bring another product in from another supplier potentially to um, 
to have that gift of purchase, which is something that people really love at Christmas time, particularly if they're buying it as a gift for somebody else. And also um, have a think about collaboration. So if there's a product that your product would, you know, a similar but not competing business that you think your product would um, bundle with really nicely, now would be the time to approach that product business and find out, you know, how you guys could collaborate together. If there's a bit of an appetite for that, um, now's the time. So in terms of um, the, sorry, also things like Afterpay and ZipPay, if you do not have them, now would be the time to jump on board and try and get them on because that could really make a huge impact for your Absolutely. sales over the Christmas period. We know from we work with a lot of e-commerce stores and all the anecdotal feedback is as soon as they get Afterpay, it has such a huge impact on their business. So certainly that. And in terms of customer and staffing, Helen just mentioned before, we want to make sure that your customer service is tickety-boo. Your processes are, you know, if any, your process need any type of um, review, make sure that, you know, it's even a time if you were thinking about moving to something like Sendor to do that. Um, you want to make sure that you've got your product descriptions accurate and if you are looking at taking time out of the business over this period you really want to um, budget for that because the period that we're talking about isn't just Christmas we're also talking about Boxing Day sales and New Year's sales as well so it's a whole period so if you really need to step away from the business now would probably be the time to start thinking about how you can bring in some taking recruit and things bring some extra staff in over to you, Health. <laughs> November. So, November. Um, so from a product and fulfilment perspective, you probably have, you know, will follow through on any of the stuff that Jackie just missed, you know, mentioned if you haven't completed it. But um, we'd like to say that you've got that all nailed down and you would start to get things like your imagery done. So if you do need to book in a photo shoot, I'd book that in with the photographer now. Or if you do that yourself, you need to probably plan for that. Um, of course, with Christmas comes promotional messages and Christmas holly and Santas and things. So you probably want to think about the photos that you want to produce to go with the product that's going there. Um, marketing wise, it's really starting to execute on it now. You're kind of eight weeks out. All the big retailers are going to be talking Christmas and you need to start doing that. So using that promotional calendar and all of those ideas that you've talked about, we want you to map out the timings for every single bit of activity, whether that's your digital advertising, so your Facebook and Instagram ads, any traditional advertising you might do. So if you are a bricks and mortar store, then you may want to do a flyer or, you know, if you're working with a collaboration with someone like Jack's mentioned, then you might want to give them some sort of point of sale or some sort of just brochures and things that, yeah. Yeah, that you need to do. So um, think about all of that. But the one thing we would say is really important is to be really consistent with your messaging across every single channel. So you will have your style guide for one of style guide, sorry, for want of a better word, which will cover your Christmas things. So you want that to carry through the whole season and it will be on your website, it will be on all of your socials, it will be on any physical product that or promotional stuff that you do. Facebook banner. Yeah, all of the same offers. Um, think about, you know, if you've got any opportunities with traditional media like A-frames outside, if you're a bricks and mortar store, any press or print or media, or any blog posts that, you know, are available to you, um, you know, think about those Christmas messages and the Christmas offers and make sure you're talking about those in that plan. Um, you probably want to square away your email strategy. So what that is, is actually thinking about the sequencing of the emails that you want to actually send throughout the entire period. And if possible in November, I would curate yeah. them and have them scheduled in because December will be busy with you just fulfilling your orders. And think about gift guide and, you know, you're feeding your audience and making their life easy by making their purchase exactly. decisions easy. So if you've got multiple products across multiple categories, presents for kids, presents for mum, presents for dad, yeah. presents for grandparents, making it really easy for them to make that purchase. And I think with um, email marketing as well, you probably have a bit of leverage to increase the frequency that you email people during this time. So everybody else um, does. Everybody else does. So you <laughs> want to be able to cut through, but you can also make sure that um, you know, you're repeating the message because they may or may not see it with all of the busyness at the time as well. So definitely, um, if you want to increase, I would definitely go for it. Um, the other thing that you can think about, and this is kind of in the customer service realm as well as promotion, but it's also a nice to have for you, is think about um, 
a post-purchase email sequence because it's one thing to get all of these influx of customers on board, but you want to make sure that you retain them and they come back to purchase from you later on as well. Mm -hmm. So think about maybe a post-purchase sequence, which could be a tip on how to care for a product or an opportunity for a discount with a review and have that all sequenced up and ready to go as well so that that is just automated and out there. Customer service and training, some of the things you can start to do to prepare is maybe update your frequently asked questions on your website just with anything that you think might come up or the frequently asked questions that you get around this time of year. Returns policy. Yeah, yeah definitely. Particularly um, around as well your shipping dates. I think you want to make sure and if you are on leave and you are closing the store for any reason, you also want to be really clear. So make sure you update that on your website and just have all of that back in done. Um, and then if you are getting some extra support during this period with additional staff or temporary staff, just start to prepare that training side of things and what you need to do to get them through. So now we're sort of crossing over into November, December. So depending on how much you get done in November <laughs> or depending on what you do in December, Product and fulfillment, you want to start to think about how you're going to wrap your gifts. Um, if there's something special you're going to do, if you need a new package, whatever that is, get that in. Um, I definitely would communicate on all of your channels about your last days for shipping. And I would do that regularly, um, particularly closer to, you know, the December the D day. The D -day <laughs> but, you know, like if you're using Australia Post and depending on the shipping, if they're not doing Express Post or, you know, the one to two day shipping, it's highly likely, you know, seven to 10 days out given on whatever day, I think Christmas falls on a Wednesday this year. You know, like you probably want to do that 10 days out to let people have enough notice so that they need to do it to guarantee a delivery by a certain time. Um, ensure you've got enough stock just of all your stationery and all of the materials that you need so that you don't want to come to like the 23rd and not have enough paper or not have enough packaging or something like that. It would just be a nightmare. Um, and again, I'd say do a bit of review on your stock. So how have sales gone to date? So probably from November to December, you might need to reassess that a little bit. See if you need to up in one product line or decrease in another. Or, or maybe there was a one that you coined that would be a real bestseller and perhaps that hasn't performed yeah. as well. So have a bit of a relook at that review and um, just based on your performance so far assess that and make sure that you've got your stock enough stock to carry you through to the final year sorry to the end of the year from a marketing perspective again your website your social media strategy um, and any advertising or demonstrations and lives and videos probably just get on top of that and des definitely dedicate enough time throughout um, your day to be able to support that it's no secret, the more you promote something, the more you talk about it, something, that's where that energy will go and that's where the sales will come through. December. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> so just to add to what Hells was saying about social media, you know, um, and we know that a lot of small businesses actually choose to promote um, and support charities during this period, um, in the Christmas period as well. So, of course, add any Christmas flair. Um, and obviously, if you are choosing to support any charity-based activity, certainly highlight that as well because people really like to vote with their dollar and support mm -hmm. where they can. Um, in terms of December, it's actually a bit of what we've sort of, um, it's a little bit of a repetition of what we've already covered. So that's the time when you want to, like Helen said, review stock, make sure you've um, advised, re-advised your last days for delivery pre-Christmas and probably that at this point also update, um, you know, things like if you're going to be potentially not selling but not shipping over that Christmas New Year period, it's probably prudent to update that as well. So yeah, December's really, certainly from mid-December, you've set everything in place. You're gonna be picking, packing and delivering orders like crazy. So yeah, just, we would really just recommend you keep on the hammer with the, with the video content, with the lives, because there is gonna be a lot of activity from all your competitors and everybody else that's in the e-commerce and retail space during that period. So there's gonna be a, message, a lot of messages out there. So um, to complement the safe Facebook or social advertising you've already got in place and traditional advertising you've already got in place, you really just wanna make sure that you stay on the hammer with the, with the lives and the video content as well. Can I just say as well, I think yeah. in small business when we're solo operators and things like that as well, is it's no doubt that you want to have that break between maybe Christmas yes. and New Year and have some so time cool. off. And I certainly think it's achievable. And even though it's a really 
busy time with sales and with you know what's happening on in the major centers and shopping centers one mm -hmm. you can choose to participate and that's completely your decision whether you want to do that or not it, you know some would say it might be a great time to clear some stock that you've been holding on to or if you've got excess stock others might say they just don't want to participate in that and that's fine you make that call yourself what's, what's right for you, for you. Yeah. Um, but what I would suggest is um, you just let everybody know there might be a little bit of an extended time on shipping during that time. So because of all the public holidays, it's kind of natural that that's going to happen anyway. Expected, um, yeah. And so it will give yourself a little bit of a break in <laughs> breathing space. The other thing you can do is um, if you're working on the Christmas Eve is, or even the day before, honestly, kind of what we said before, what's done is done by that point. So I would be updating all of your website all of your social media scheduling and just moving to the new Boxing Day theme or whatever the promotion is at the time. Get that live. It doesn't matter if it's happening just before Christmas because people can't order for Christmas anymore anyway. Yeah. And at least, you know, you've, you've come to Christmas Eve and you can turn your computer off and you can actually have a good break and you don't have to worry about what's happening until the 28th or till the 29th or whatever you want. So um, I definitely would recommend that. <laughs> so... Yeah, we um, to support everything we've said, we actually have a download, um, a Christmas preparation checklist, which we are going to put um, in the notes for you. And we've also um, come up with a, so we do an hour strategy session um, called Let's Chat, and we are offering $50 off. So for any of you who would like a custom Christmas planning session, so if you would like support with digging really deep with your plan and nutting this out specifically for your business, we would absolutely love to support you with that. So we will also have generated a $50 off code for all of our viewers out there. Yes. And we'll ho, 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 2019. Ho. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll pop the details of that in the notes as well. I think some people have come to us, um, you know, in previous years with this type of thing and we've really helped them that out a promotional calendar as such because yes. that's probably something if you yeah. haven't had any experience in can be mm -hmm. a little bit um, overwhelming. But um, it really takes you through a series of events and it just gives you something to do every week, but yeah. you, you know that you've ticked everything and you've not missed anything. So yeah. that can really help. Excellent. So I don't think we've got any questions here live, but certainly the comments will be open. And um, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> and we can um, certainly answer any of them that come through. But um, yeah, let us know what you think if you've got any questions and yeah. we want to wish you all the best for this really exciting retail period. If it's your first one, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. We'll catch Great. you another day. Thank you very much. See you. Bye.